Hi everyone, welcome to the Sun Tower 90. Now, if you have a look around, we're only about approximately a couple of months away from completion and a top coat, but this is just a spectacular vessel. And I'm talking about production at the highest level here. All we're going to do is top coat headliners and the lounge bed go on and the helm station completed. Uh, the flooring is already complete, ready for the final tan. We've got real teak on all the flooring down here. So the other look over here, all the teak is already down and done. The view from the bow, if you come up with me here, this is the view of the world around us. It is absolutely spectacular. Uh, all this will be solely here, down here on the um, the front of the vessel here in front of the helm station and then down the bow of the boat is all solar also and then you also got solar the whole roof here is absolute solar um, and this is a massive space as you can see I'm walking around here and the amount of people you could have up here on a gathering or a charter or a global trip uh, this is a vessel to do it in the stand and the beam of this is astronomical and as you could agree when we get to the final sea trials which is going to be shortly uh, before christmas we're aiming for we'll be out here in a sea trial and we'll show you this vessel live on the water so also on the aft deck we've got a big area here where there's going to be solar at the aft deck as well and here you've got a, your own bar for all those large parties out the back and this is all under cover my uh, let's work our way downstairs. Okay, so have a look at the space up in the bow of the vessel here. Uh, the Sun Power 90. Uh, all the solar panels are going to be here in the bow of the boat. And the flooring has already been done. It's real teak. It's ready for the final finish. Uh, it's fully completed. We are on the last coat of paint here before we do a final fairing and then there will be a uh, top undercoat in white and then final coat and this vessel will be finished which will roughly be around three months time. Uh, so we'll kick you up to date on this. We just got the windows to go in all the way around after that top coat. Uh, Headline is up the top deck. Uh, all the solar panels are in. If we move into the um, cabin area, we'll take you for a walk around and show you all the rooms. Come with me. We've got the opening doors here, um, which is simply slide open, which will give you a great deal of airflow through the whole bow of the vessel. And here, a huge galley area. Uh, you have lounges over here, you have helm stations up here. Downstairs here we have the master's cabin and a captain's quarters uh, which will have a separate entry point from outside of the vessel so this will be totally personal to the VIP cabin only. Um, on the port side of the vessel, uh, let's starboard on the port side of the vessel, we've got another two bedrooms down here which we'll show you through and then to the aft of the boat we will actually have another two bedrooms for crew which have two bunks in them. And then another two bedrooms as well. So if you start to calculate it, we'll walk you through all of the vessel first, and then you're gonna have a look. All we need to do is a lot of the headliners have been complete here. We're in the final finishing um, before the flooring goes down and the rest of the furniture comes in. So come down here with, towards the VIP cabin with me. Okay, so we move into the master cabin here. Um, It's just about complete in here, it has its own toilet area with its vanities which has a beautiful view straight outside the vessel. Uh, it's got a private, its own private uh, walk-in shower in here. And then to the bow of the vessel it's got a captain's quarters. Its own toilet and shower. Um, and then you walk up into a step up uh, bed for the captain up here. So he has his own space. All right, let's go to the um, port side of the vessel and have a look at the rooms there. 
Okay, so let's go down and we'll have a look at the uh, your favourite guest's cabin. So this is where your favourite guests will be. It's a really big room. And they've got their own toilet and uh, their own shower. And up here you have another double bedroom and another toilet and shower in here. And large robes and sink looking outside the windows there. So they all have views from every room. So let's go out into the afterglow. Here there's going to be a massive lounge room. Uh, over here a full working bar and as you can see the deck area out here is absolutely huge this is such a party area um, have all your guests friends or the charter just a massive area and this is all nearly at its final stages so we're getting really close to the finishing touches here and it's looking absolutely magnificent if you have a look at the size of this vessel, you can tell by the two metre walkways. You've got approximately over 1.5 metre here. Then you move into two metre walkways. It feels like you're walking down a magnificent hallway. It's that huge. And then when you come into the bow of the vessel, there's this magnificent area that looks like a showroom that you've never seen before. It's just so beautiful. Just imagining that complete finish in a few months time when we show you it on the water, it's going to be so exciting. So have a look at the distance you've got here for the grand stairway as you walk up into the Sun Power 90. It is just a phenomenon and you look at it from a distance and you can see the expansive room here. Okay, so inside uh, these hatches we have the um, humongous backup generators. We've got three of these and over a hundred kilowatts each for each generator. That's a massive amount. We had to literally crane these in and uh, it was a real chore for the boys to get them in there but they've done a magnificent job I've got to tell you. Uh, we should take you down and have a look at the electric motors on this. Uh, they're just a beautiful sight to see that you don't need a whole engine room just for fuel engines, that you really reduce that amount just by having a look at the size of the electric motor. You now it's just clean, no oil, no fuel spills, nothing, no additives. Come on, let's go and have a look at those. Okay, so the most exciting part of this is seeing where the electric motors actually fit into. Have a look at this. So, welcome to the over 300 kilowatt motor absolutely beautiful and it won't need any servicing for over 50 years so you don't need to worry about ever getting it out and you've got plenty of access there for servicing after 50 years which is most of our lifetime so you normally won't have to worry but absolutely fantastic vessel and down here you've got extra uh, double bedroom as well and another room here for guests as well. Well, there you have it, everybody. Sun Power 90. Uh, this is going to be the most magnificent vessel. Come and have a look at it. See you at the sea trials.